Oh. Hey. So, my name is Kurosev. But you can also call me Kuro, if that's too long. I just wanted to do a quick little intro before the main story starts. Since this is my first video, and I thought it'd be kind of weird to just start off like that. Alright, so what is this channel? Some of you guys can already guess, but this is just one of those animation channels where I tell you my stories and talk about my experiences and stuff. And I do want to do more in the future, but it's mainly going to be these types of videos for a while until I learn all the skills that I need. Alright, so why am I doing this? Well, I had to take a semester off from uni, and I thought I'd spend these four months attempting to chase my childhood dream, which is YouTube. And yeah, I think that's probably good for now. Just to let you know, the video might be a bit short, but yeah, let's do this. Alright, so I was in my third year of uni, and I still wasn't too set on what I was doing, so I had some electives, and one of them happened to be Intro to Japanese. I heard about the class from some friends who took it a while ago, and me being the weeb that I am, I thought, hey, I like anime. Anime is Japanese. I should learn Japanese to watch anime without subs. So, yeah, that was kind of the main goal for me. And so my expectations going to the class were really stupid. Like, I thought everyone would be all cool and anime and stuff, you know? Like, you'd have that teacher who's all cool and helpful and, and is also like an octopus for some reason. Oh, but you'd have like that guy who's like your friend, but also isn't, but is like your rival for some reason. Uh, okay, but then to be like that girl who's all cute and stuff, and then you guys would be walking down the hall and it'd be like, Oh, Kuro kun Karasu was pretty eternal she, huh? Yes, it was. Um, I don't know why I gave myself that voice. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna go back to normal now. Anyway. Kuro kun I have something to tell you. Huh? What is it? Follow me. Uh, okay. So, why'd you bring me behind the school? Kuro kun shut up, you, you baka! Kuro kun I, I, ah! Uh... Um, how do we even get in this position? Kuro kun no, we can't. All right, so I'm just gonna stop right there. Uh, any further, and it's gonna get really weird. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, where were we? Uh. Oh yeah, okay, so my classmates. Yeah, they were nothing like that. I mean, everyone was pretty normal, I guess, but there was obvious divides within the class. Like, you would have the Chinese international students, the Korean international students, and they were pretty cool, but they kind of just kept them themselves. Then the next group would probably be the people who were already friends and took the class together. I was gonna do this too, but my friend left me after the first class, and so there was me, all alone, in the corner. You know, being, be, being all cool and stuff. <sighs> so the class itself was pretty fun. Uh, my sensei was always nice, and learning about how the class worked was actually really interesting. I think my favorite part of the course is probably learning the alphabets. Probably because it wasn't too hard to learn, and I actually liked the way it was structured. So compared to our A to Z alphabet, Japanese has hiragana, katakana, and another thing called kanji, which are just characters that they borrow from China. So hiragana. This is the one that we mainly used, and it was just used for words that we didn't know the kanji to. And it was also used for these things called particles, and they basically connect words together. There was also katakana, and this was kind of the same thing as hiragana, because all the letters sound the same, but the only difference is it was used for like, non-Japanese words and names. But we almost exclusively used it for English words. Then there was kanji, and the only way I can really describe kanji is like, you know when you have that friend, who's all like, normal and cool with you, but like, the moment he's with another friend, he totally becomes a different person. Alright, so imagine that, but that's all your friends. Other than the class lessons, we also had these classes once a week where we would practice our broken Japanese to one another. Sometimes while working on stuff, the teaching assistant would call someone else to read an example from the book, and it was always sad to see when he chooses someone who wasn't prepared. Huh? Uh, uh, eto, what? It's okay. Alright, so those classes weren't that bad though. And it was actually pretty good because it was time to make friends. Because you would kind of be forced to pair up with people. Although I never really made any friends. And the only kind of bad experience I can really think of is when I asked this guy if he could take his seat. And he just kind of turned around and gave me like a dirty look. Probably too busy hitting on girls and playing stupid Overwatch. Freaking stupid. 
So that's the end of the video. Uh, thanks for making it here. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, uh, subscribe because I have nothing. And I promise the next one won't be so short. I'm sorry. I didn't realize how short it was when I wrote it. Uh, bye. Thank you.